Live from Milton, Pennsylvania, this is the Nearly Famous CB Show. And now, here are the stars of the show, Chris Patton. And Brandon Kozer. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. There's Katie. Hey, Katie. Hey. Nice to see you over there. Well, Thanks see for coming you up. up on a Friday. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully somebody else is holding it down down there. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, no, you know, I got a lot of compliments last week about the, the new studio. Yeah, the there. new setup is awesome. Yeah, you know. You know, again, we, we took our old coffee can, we kicked down the road a little bit, got a couple pennies into it. Thanks for a loyal, loyal fans, you know. And, <laughs> <laughs> they helped us they out. Helped us out. Yeah, right. It's so, awesome. Um, again, you know, we're still, we're getting there. We're work in progress. Yeah, you know, it's, I'm not sure they can change this. I mean, we can change nah, it. We, we talked about that last week. Yeah, it's... We should do that sometime, you know, um, the ever-changing look of, of C&B. It's, uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, with the Because I have something, I, I'm Listen, playing it on my hair next the other week, and it's, uh, it, it, we have some looks. Yeah. We have some looks. There's yeah, no doubt about it. It's special in store for everybody. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> Uh, no, great. Uh, just ecstatic to be back, you know, uh, been a, been an odd week, you know, it's, it's been a definite, uh, not only the weather, like yeah. everything just this week just seems to be, and you're thinking of it last week with a shorter week, but this mm-hmm. week is just off with everything. It, I just never felt like a, we actually had a Christmas holiday. It just never felt like yeah. Christmas. I just yeah. never got in the spirit, whatever it was. I don't know. Just whatever. Kids are getting too old. Yeah, maybe. I don't losing know. The, or, losing the magic. Magic. I don't know. I think it just hmm. it came so quick, went by so quick. It did. You know. But hey, uh, there's always next year. That's right. That's yeah, the good thing about that. It always comes around. It keeps coming. Hey, speaking of Christmas, yes. I have a trivia question. Ooh. I know this is out of the box. Yeah. Um, I actually saw it on TikTok. Mm-hmm. So the question is: a husband asks his wife, "In what year mm-hmm. does Christmas Day and New Year's Day?" Fall in the same year. Every year. It, it does every year, but that stumps people because they always think <laughs> yeah, they're Christmas thinking, uh, and, You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's actually good to think of awesome. New Year's for you. are good. I'm good. Hey, there you go. Hey, speaking of TikTok, what do we got? We got a new, new one. New one, new one out. Like the new release. Yeah. Yeah. Go, to, go follow us. <laughs> Please, follow us follow here. Follow us. And listen, everything's going to We're social almost media. up to, we're social almost up to 300 oh, followers. I should check that now. By the way. By the way. Here we go. So we're going. To, Chris is going to beat me up a little bit here, no, I'm not and I'm going to apologize before Chris beats me up. <laughs> but last week he kind of shortchanged us a little bit and said we only had like 260 subscribers. A lot, bit. And after we filmed, I said, "Real brand, what were you looking at?" <laughs> I man? looked at the views. <laughs> <laughs> we're well over 300. We are. We are. Um, I'm getting there here. Oh, I got some ad pop up. Here right. we go. Uh, come on, get out of there. Uh, is, that, is, is, is that somebody that's paying us that ass? I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh, man, not again. <laughs> no, I'll go. I'll go ahead. Keep talking. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, what are we talking about here now? <laughs> but we are almost, this is, this we're no, almost, bad. Here we're we almost at 300 subscribers on uh, TikTok. 339. All right, 339, 339 on YouTube. On YouTube. 287, I think, the last time I checked on TikTok. On TikTok. So, so yeah, hey. Listen again. I, I we're pushing social media, but that's the mm-hmm. new that's the new era. You right. know, everybody loves the social media platform. Well, it's good. I mean, it's, it's fun. It, it's it quick fun. and easy to get out there. And you know what else? You don't have to read. No, you just listen. Yeah, follow, I mean, we got we're out on, out on Facebook, obviously, or you know, TikTok, YouTube. So we're, yeah, we're out there. We're out you know, there. And especially for you know maybe the older generation. Maybe they don't. Hey, I see a lot of people though. You know, you wouldn't think we're on. Facebook and all over. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean, yeah, they're always. Looking it's all ages. So yep. yeah. they they like to swear it off in the beginning, but <laughs> yeah, right. they realize the convenience of them when coming around. So well, hey, enough about that. Let's I get, why don't we just get right in our favorite our favorite segment. segment? Here we go. The weekly update. So I mean, hey, we uh, we we're starting off the year. Um, a little rocky. Let's be honest. A little Let's rocky. We're, yeah. we're a little rocky. Um, but it's okay. We're going to push through. Uh, you know, we've got a safety meeting coming up next weekend. Yeah. You know, so Talk a few safety. things to address there. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we actually, 
have no DOT reportables. We had a few small fender benders we need to fix up, uh, but no lost time injuries, which is huge. I mean, mm -hmm. again, you know, the fender benders are going to happen. We we'll talk about that mm -hmm. many times, but really, it, it's the value of of those know, fender benders. What did you see? Was well, there anything common that we can? It's all consistency, and, and it's funny I talk about it every safety meeting. It's complacency. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not getting out and looking. We're not being aware of surroundings, and we're we're going back to being in a hurry. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, I, we try to stress to everybody: we're paid by the hour. Be aware of your surrounding because even that small fender bender, they add up. You know, any more a small bumper yeah. is two, three thousand yep. dollars. As to where if you just got out and looked, checked your area, three, four, five times, at thirty seconds a clip, it's two minutes of overtime pay, even if it's top rate. You, you know, so definitely try. I'm trying to encourage that get out and be, be aware of your surroundings before moving it's not, that trunk at all. You know, it's you can just say it's easier said than done, which is true. 100%. Easier said than done. We understand that, but taking time and that happens in our own personal vehicle so it's not just a big for car, sure yeah you know, it, it's just, just convenient life. to look right. put it in gear and go get out and look just yeah. be because i'm telling you right now anybody that's had these small fender benders here this year already it's a pride factor mm. i mean it hit, i can't believe i you know i've been driving for yeah 20 years and this is the first one i had I, and i get it but mm. it was just those two seconds it would take me to get out and check and i know you hit up on this just make sure we're staying off those cell phones right yeah cell phones are a big thing you know you know definitely want to Stay off I, the I've done a thing where I'm just throwing it across so I can't get just set access. It, yeah, down the floor about. in the back seat, something. Set it and forget it. And if it, you right? haven't, yeah. And if you hook it to your Bluetooth, you can yeah. touch screen and answer any calls. So right. Definitely. Uh, you just see a lot. Of, any reason we keep bringing that up, you just see it all over the roads when yeah, you're out there. You yeah, know, right. so just uh, be mindful of that. Anyway, um, well, I know we had a great week. With we had a great week with drivers. Yeah, we don't want to forget any of them. Um, so, and I like the producer said, we split. Hmm. So we call that a draw. Okay. So um, we have four from Virginia and four from PA. So we have Keith, Lisa, Daryl, and William from Virginia, and Alberto, Robert, Stephen, and Charles from PA. Well, we, that's a that's a great class. And you know what? I'm going to um, I want to give a shout out here. Who? We always talk about the drivers. We talk about the customers. We talk about them. specifically, not just this week, but over the last few months, even uh, truck shortage has been an issue. Um, the turnaround of trucks. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's times that we send an email over to the shop and say, hey, we need four trucks for tomorrow, mm -hmm. or we need four trucks for next week. And then all of a sudden, Tony steps up over the weekend it's, it's and he pops more. three more, yeah. four more. And then all of a sudden, from Friday to Monday, we need eight. Mm -hmm. And the shop mm -hmm. has been doing a great job with all the challenges that they, they get thrown into um, by producing trucks for all these new drivers. Mm -hmm. And they're not just throwing any truck at them. You know, they're really putting time in. They're going over the truck to make sure that's safe and everything's operable. And so definitely a big shout out to them. You know, I, I yeah. know we take them for granted a lot of times. Because yeah, Chad, they're, Mike, they're and the rest of the team. Absolutely. Chris, all of them do an absolutely, absolutely absolute great awesome job. job. So. so, And, you know, it's not easy. So you have to understand what's going on is, you know, we, we may have the trucks. We may go walk over and be like, oh, there's trucks here. But there's a, still the supply chain with parts and yeah. sometimes delays getting parts to get some of the old trucks fixed or whatever. So um, it is a challenge, and they, they, you know now we're really operating. If you think about it, from Pennsylvania down to Virginia, Virginia, we have two Every, terminals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. trying to make it all happen. So uh, again, great kudos. Great job that. for them. You know, thank you so much for being patient with us too, because <laughs> right. we do have a lot of changes at the very last minute. So, but uh, uh, hey, um, you know the other thing uh, I got for this week. I don't know. You know, I know some drivers come in the terminal here, but press. We got a facelift here. A old, big face facelift here. here. It, it was well needed, too. It was. You're right. It you was. know, it, you paint 15 years ago and it looked great then, but over time, you know, it just it wears out, right? It's comfort. Yeah, you know, and I mean, somebody decided we need to facelift and right. it looks amazing. It does. It looks just really, as really modern, good. looks nice, just better workstations for the, for the staff, you yep. know, and, uh, you know, it just makes it more. Uh, and we actually fit more staff in the yeah, building. Yeah, we right? more growth. We can yeah, fit right yeah. in the building. It's quite yeah, interesting yeah. to see that. Because we were thinking we may have to uh, expand our building, but with the new design, it really looks nice. So we're through. Check it out. Also, I know Kenny Hall came in this week and grabbed the calendar. Grab his calendar. So make sure. I don't know. Did we talk about? Because I know Ken really appreciates Ken it. Ken Brown, I think. Here, now I think. Uh, I think Ken he's Brown. happy to be here in January. <laughs> pretty sure. Um, I know his wife was too. They, they, I think I think they all are pretty happy he's there, and we're happy he's on our calendar. But we're also happy he's here with the company. But yeah, uh, we, we got them. They're all at all our locations. Yep. So, make so sure you, you stop grab in and grab one. Yeah. You know, grab two. You know, give right. it to your friends, family. Yep. 
get the name out there. But uh. but this week, so I am so you know you get all the glory in your segments, and I've been thinking, you know, it used to be Chris's deep thoughts, but the problem with the deep thoughts was they ran out pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't keep having the other two or three all last year. <laughs> you all overdid well, it. <laughs> I know. It really fried my brain. I think so. Instead. I, you know, I'm more of a, you know, I guess a personable guy, right? You know, you see me, you want to say a wave, right? Yeah. All right. Anyway. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> so we came up with a new one and, you know, it's called, uh, you ready for this? I'm ready. <laughs> hold on. Hold on your seats out there. Fireside chat with Chris. Ooh. Ooh, I can't wait to see it. Do you yeah. do what I like in a rocking chair or the room? Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, yeah. yeah, yeah there we go. Bit. All right, well, let's check it out. <laughs> All right, excited. Let's do it. Hello there. Welcome to our first episode of the Fireside Chat with Chris. And I'm honored today How to have a staple of our company, with Jason Smith, joining us here by the Fireside. <laughs> so, um, this is pretty cool, right? Jason? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> are you are you are you honored that you're? Yes, I am. Yeah, that, that's honored. awesome. That's awesome. So first one. <laughs> so uh, for the audience, you know, Jason uh, joined the company. He's uh, nineteen years uh, this past July. So 19, twenty years this July. Twenty years coming up on his twenty year anniversary. Um, give us a little backstory. I know. Well, it's uh, <laughs> funny how I started here. I. Uh, Moved up into town with my wife because she was from the area in Williamsport. I grew up outside of uh, Philadelphia. Uh, we came up here trying to go to work for Chili's because it was a company to company transfer and they didn't tell us that the Chili's was closing down in Williamsport. So I'm like, uh oh. So I went to all the temp agencies, filled out all that paperwork, and I'm just doing that. And I got a call from the one temp agent who says, uh, got to work uh, a trucking company for uh, one week for 20 hours. You want it? I'm like, yeah, I need the money. And I was there for 50 hours that week, and that was about it. I had to yeah, left. There you go. 19 years later, almost 20 years later, yeah. you're still here. So, uh, when you started back here uh, at Watson Town, you were obviously were for table agency, but you were customer service, customer scheduling, service, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever needed done. So today, now you're a driver manager. Driver manager. I got about uh, with the part time guys. I got about 78 drivers somewhere around there. And then uh, I also run a our Conier warehouse project, which was uh, actually one of the first warehouse projects. Yeah, actually. yeah. And I line those up and uh, yeah, you yeah, yeah you kind of sets the routing, sets the, 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 the you know how we're gonna load the trucks each week. Yep. Um, so, uh, but you know that's enough work talk, right? Yep. Now we we're here we like to enjoy work outside of work. Yep. But I know um, let's let's start with movies. So the other week oh, yes. you and I had a. Uh, Top five best movies. Yep. That, I'd love the audience to hear your top five. Well, they keep changing. <laughs> right. You know, so because I keep thinking about it. But one of them is definitely uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's Ooh. just a little nostalgia from my childhood. I really like that movie. That's a, uh, that's a good one. Uh, Shawshank Redemption, Ooh, I always can't watch. Can't go wrong with that one. And then I, I think my partner, that's one of his favorites, too. Yeah. So. And I actually uh, changed it. I thought about it because I uh, saw it the other day on TV. Fury, the tech movie with Brad yeah. Pitt. That's a good one. Uh, the Good, the Bad, the Ugly. Ooh. And oh, what, I like uh, Mad Max, uh, Fury Road. That's probably about, and that'll change the next time you ask me. <laughs> there you go. But, uh, you know, outside of movies, I know you're also an avid, uh, you enjoy reading, right? Oh, yeah, I like to read a lot. Uh, I like to golf. I'm not Ooh. good, uh, as you can tell. Uh, and uh, I like playing Is anybody video. who is good besides Jeff? Nobody. Uh, uh, Brandon's kid. <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, I like uh, playing video games, and uh, that's about it. I like I enjoy cooking too. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Well, you know, Jason's. You know, I, I know there's. You know, I'm putting on the spot here, but uh, you know, one thing to say to the workforce of drivers. You know, we always talk about safety, and I know that's a big part of you know yep. uh, what we what we care about here. And uh, you know, what do you try? You know, say to the drivers. You know, just to say, hey, just it's hard. It's not the easiest. Oh, it's not the easiest. In yeah. fact, I've actually uh, changed my own personal driving habits on the road. I'm a lot more courteous to uh, truck drivers. Right. Because before I was that ass that would zoom up in front of you and cut into the the, the kill box, or whatever right. those guys call it. Now I give them uh, tons of free space and all that. Well, I see. You, you probably were watching a CB show and learned some of the tips. Oh, of course. From the same. From the same. You don't have to lie to it just because you're yeah. on camera here, but. Uh, no, uh, that's awesome, Jason. It's great that, you know, we, we do this so that people can learn about the faces of, of our company. You know, it's not just Watson Town Trucking, Pat Logistics Group, but uh, 
again, glad that you were our first guest at the Fireside <laughs> Yeah, me too. Yeah. But, uh, I was prepared for it, too. <laughs> but uh, thank you. Well, thank, thank thanks you, again. Thank you. So, take care. Oh, uh, yeah. I hope I'll be back in uh, another 20 years. There you go. All right. Have a good day. Listen, man. That was... That, that's kudos points. Right. A, Jason Smith is yeah. one of a kind. Yeah. I mean, he's been here, I, you know, he's been here almost 20 years. years. I've been here a little over 15, and that guy's been here since day one. He's right. I mean, we go off the lot. We've done a lot. I've done a lot of things with him outside of work, and he's a he's a special individual. And so for him to be on the first yeah. segment. I mean, he's to be uh, honored. And that, I'm honored. Yeah. And Joe's yeah. the, the loudest. And that interview. setup you have going, you definitely need a robe. Ooh, I do. I mean, a little call maybe a little scar, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get it all set up for that. That's great segment. Great yeah. job, both of you guys. Yeah. That's really good. Just, uh, by the way, I don't know if they... they to live, live. To live. make Beanie. sure you, anybody's coming through. That isn't gonna be. They they started going pretty good, and then we distributed them down south a little bit. Right. But uh, you know, hey, I still got a few more left, so get up here and stop and grab yours. So, to keep your head warm. Well, I'm just excited. I, I can't get over my my new segment. I'm excited the next week, and I'm sure the audience will tune in next. Yeah, week. they, they, they probably want to see. It you know what? They're really gonna probably want. No, where were you with your safety tip of the week? Well, I had to step aside and just you know. <laughs> Step aside. Yeah. And plus, I'm getting, I mean, for everybody's out there, you know, I was, it was a, it's an excuse, but it was a crunch week. I had, oh, I had you know, I had the safety bonuses I had to get oh, out. Here we go. Had, it's uh, a new quarter. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> but but no, uh, I'll here. get some safety tips out, I promise. There's but yeah, so next that. week, tune in for a new fireside chat. Check out the, we have a safety tip and whatever else. Come whatever on. else. I'm sure we'll have more of it. It's going to be awesome. So shout out to the sponsors. Can't Family do it without them. Appreciate them every week. Shout out to our producer, shout out to our associate producer, yeah. and uh, until next week, be safe. safe.